So you all are thinking that I'm going to be talking about Palm Sunday. And actually, you already know what happened on Palm Sunday. But I'm going to speak about something that we don't necessarily pay as much attention to, and that's Lazarus Saturday. So it's not as well attended, and it kind of stands out there. What some people are not aware of is, if you ask an Orthodox, or if you ask most Orthodox, when does Holy Week start, they will tell you Palm Sunday until the Anastasi on next Sunday. But if that is the answer, then it denies one of the central truths of the church. It starts with Lazarus Saturday, because in the raising of Lazarus, what we have is we have a foreshadowing. We see, or the, we see the foreshadowing of Jesus' own resurrection. And we see in Mary and Martha the question that they, that the, the answer to the question that Jesus asks is our same question. Because when she stood in front of him, she said what? She said, if you would have been here, the hymns tell us, and the, certainly the gospel tell us, that if you would have been here before he died, then it, you could have healed him because they've seen him do miracles. And he purposely stayed away for four days because in the Old Testament we have resurrection, but that resurrection happened within a three-day period. He stayed away four days. Clearly now he is dead. And so we have Mary comes before him and says, you should have been here. And, she, and he says to her, who do you think I am? And she says, you are the Lord. And he says, do you believe that? Do you believe in the resurrection? She says, yes, I believe in the resurrection. But she's talking about the second coming, the general resurrection. And Jesus answers her, I am the resurrection, I am the life, I am the way. And then he brings Lazarus out. And this now shows who he is. Because before this, he was seen as a prophet. Most of the Jews thought this is a prophet, and that's why they were all, they were all um, uh, shocked by what he had said. And so in the um, celebration of Lazarus, again, first bishop of Cyprus, all right, what we have is a foreshadowing of the general resurrection that is to come. And that's what the hymns talk to us about, is not only do they say the great miracle that he performed, that he resurrected from the dead, but importantly, that this is now what we are looking forward to. And this has to be then our belief system. So do we believe that there will be a final judgment? And the answer is yes. But the Jews believe that too. Okay, so then what separates us then from the Jews? Are, are we Jewish? No, we're not. So what separates us is the answer that Jesus gave to Mary, which was, I know you believe in the general resurrection, the coming of the Messiah, but I am that resurrection. And this is now what separates us, is that both of us believe that there is a general resurrection, a second coming. But through the miracle of Lazarus, now what we as Christians have is we know who is that resurrection, that the resurrection is not a thing, it is a person. And in that resurrection, that's what we're going to celebrate on Easter. When we hold our candles up and we sing Christos Anesti, okay, why are we going to sing that? Because of the belief in God as second person. And not just in a general belief that at some point in time, there's going to come this final judgment. That's why Lazarus Saturday is such an important event for us, is because that helps us to understand Holy Week. We start with the resurrection where Jesus shows us who he is, and it will end then in his resurrection, his death, and then his resurrection, so that we may all then die and be resurrected with him and joyously sing that Christos Anesti.